Alright guys, so today we're going to change this whole steering wheel out and got a nut down in here and it took me a while to find anything that would fit. It's supposed to be 27 millimeter, but finding one to fit through that hole to get in there is a little difficult. But this is a 73 and the hub we're going to be using is this Grant Hub 3565. I'll put the links down in the description. Um, but uh, it should work fine. This is for, I think, 59 up to 74 and a half. If you have a later 74 and a half and up, then you'll have to switch to the uh, the other one. We got a video for that. You can check it out right here. Uh, and we'll put it in the description too. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is pull this nut off of here and then pull the washer out behind it. All right, so the steering wheel is off. There's the nut and the washer there. Now this is the Grant Hub, and it will go on something like this, but top there at the top. Uh, but you've got the three little screw holes here, and this is our uh, turn signal canceller. So we've got to put this on there for it to be able to hit that. And this runs your horn button also, so that will glide around through there. So this seems actually a good bit easier than the 74 and a half and later ones. Um, so we're gonna pull these screws out here and then they send you some little, looks like nylon screws in here to bolt it on to the Grant Hub. All right, I went ahead and put the original bolts back in here and then these little nylon bolts, you obviously don't wanna tighten them extremely tight, but just get it snugged up a little bit. And that pops right through, got the wire there for the horn. And this will essentially drop right back down in with the top position on and uh, we can start bolting everything else up. All right, so the wheel I'm gonna use is this really old wheel. I've had it for a long time and I'm not sure it's actually the brand of it there and there's like an S in there, but um, this is the one we had on the 70 model F100. So um, this one has the horn button hole right there and obviously my wire comes out down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll run my wire through the plate here and then essentially bring the wire around this and up where it needs to go in order to hook the horn back up. All right, so obviously everything's just kind of floating here now, but I like to go ahead and run these bolts in just a little ways, uh, just so everything kind of lines up before I put my center nut on. So there's the washer on there. You grab the nut and get it in place. Let me get all this tightened down and then it's lined up. And even if I have to take these back out, uh, everything's lined up and I start tightening this down. So, I mean, just get everything up in place. All right, guys, there it is. So we got the center nut all tightened up. You got these tightened down. So that holds the wheel and everything to the hub. The hub's held onto the shaft. And this actually floats on these. So when I get my horn button in, it's gonna hook up here, here, and here. And then you just kind of twist it and then the spring will go here and that holds the horn button up off of this so this contact plate doesn't make contact with the wheel, grind it out and make the horn go off. So the wire, I'm a, they send you a new wire, so I'm actually gonna hook up the wire here and I'll clip this, clip this off, do my wire ends and then they send you a wire nut here to run everything together on that connector. So that'll be it once I get the horn button. So, but. That should work. And I think that looks pretty nice. So I think it looks a lot better than the plastic one. 
a nice wood steering wheel in here. And this was a deeper dish steering wheel, so it actually brought it back um, about the same, actually, as the stock one. So, but I've got plenty of room here, so that should work. So you can see where that is just barely touching on the wiper arm. So just like the other wheel I put on the 77 model, uh, I'm gonna take this and hold it right here and just barely bend these back just a little bit. The other side's fine, uh, but that should work. Time to get out and play. Amsoil delivers the ultimate protection for your vehicles and equipment. Fast, free shipping right to your door. Spend $100 and shipping is on us. Order now at amsoil.com.